What does the Bible have to say about divorce? This is an awesome video. I really encourage everyone to go watch that video. I'm going to add to it and I'm going to give a little bit more insight as well onto one verse that she stated in here that I want to give better clarity on. Matthew 19, 9 says, And I say to you, whoever divorces his wife except for sexual immorality and marries another woman commits adultery. Now let's go to the Greek and see what this word sexual immorality is and adultery is. Sexual immorality is the word pornea, as we see here, which is Strong's 4202. Strong says that this word pornea, pornea is harlotry. It's a figurative of speech, figuratively idolatry and fornication. Adultery is this Greek word, machado, Strong's 3429, which means to commit adultery, which is a sexual act. Other translations will actually state by you say, whoever divorces wife apart from adultery will take it and take another commits adultery and whoever take her who is divorced commits adultery, interchanging the word of adultery. As we know, this word of adultery is not the same as this word of adultery. While this word of adultery is specific to sexual adultery in marriage, this word is not specific to sexual adultery. Remember, harlotry, figurative, fornication, and also what? Idolatry. I believe that pornea is mistranslated and should say idolatry. And let me show you in the word of God why I think that. Jeremiah chapter 3, Then the Lord said to me in the days of King Joshua, I have seen what faithless Israel did. She went up on her very high hill and under every leafy tree, and she prostituted herself there. And yet I thought, after she had done all these things, she will return to me. But she did not return. Her treacherous sister Judah saw it. And I saw that for all the adulteries, of faithless Israel, I had sent her away and given her a certificate of divorce. You see, because of Israel's idolatry, she committed adultery toward God. Notice the vocabulary God uses when Israel is doing all their wickedness, following false gods. He uses the word adulteries of faithless Israel. And then he states, and I sent her away and I gave her a certificate of divorce. Why? Not because of sexual reasons, but because of her idolatry and her harlotry toward God. He uses this word in a very explicit way to get his point across. So when I look at Matthew 19, I read it like this. I say to you, whoever divorces his wife except for idolatry and marries another woman commits adultery. See, looking at it in this way, you see the relationship between you and your spouse as something deeper. Anything outside of the covenant that I have with my wife is idolatry and grounds for her to divorce me. It seems like, oh my God, anything and everything is permissible. Well, is it? What does Paul say about this? When Paul says that all things are permissible, but not all things are profitable. This is one of the things he's even talking about. I'm not saying to just go randomly, I'm just going to divorce and give up because that's not what the scriptures tell us to do. If reconciliation is available, then we reconcile and we work things out. This is what marriage is about. But the marriage is a mirror image of our relationship with Jesus Christ. If I continue in my wickedness against God, he will then remove the covenant in which we had. We see this throughout scripture where God literally walks away. We see this clearly in Jeremiah where he divorces Israel because of their wickedness. The teaching of adultery being the only reason for divorce is actually wicked because there's people out there, there's women and men who are being abused by their spouse, run over by their spouse, and they feel like they're stuck because of a mistranslation. In reality, anything that you do against your husband or wife is sin. And that is also idolatry because every sin boils down to pride. It boils down to being an idol that you have chosen that thing over the spouse in whom you were called to be with. In Jeremiah chapter 3, the representation is clear. Wickedness is idolatry, which is grounds for divorce.